All right, joining us now on the phone is General Russell Honore. He is the uh, former Hurricane Katrina Joint Task Force Commander. Good to see you, General. Good morning. You know, I guess what we want to know is how much worse are things going to get? Well, it could be worse tomorrow than it is today. Why is that? Because of the pounding of the rain. The rain. Yeah. Um, and the backing up and the flooring, it'll take four or five days after the rain stops for those bayous to clear south of Houston. So, and it's still raining. And the area is expanded into uh, Cameron and Capuchu Parish. Uh, and going into Sabine, where the elevation is three feet, Sabine Pass, right where we have the brand new uh, Chenier uh, refinery. It's about a $14 billion plant. Mm -hmm. And then there's the rain bands now going into Lake Charles where we have 14 chemical plant and brand new Sassol plant, uh, all of them built after Katrina and Rita. So uh, this is going to be a real test. My biggest concern uh, is people uh, surviving the next five days. And I think the rescue will scale up in Texas in the next few days to be able to get people out of their homes. But the, uh, the post event, you know, 40% of small businesses fail after a, a flooding event like this and this is going to have a catastrophic impact on this area right you know are you satisfied with the the national guard numbers that are coming in to help teams from other states uh, is there enough response on the ground right now uh, to help people i love i love the national guard both of my sons are in the national guard <laughs> so but i think we've got to scale up quicker uh the texas owns over 10,000 national guard and as of last night, they had only mobilized about 3,000 of them. How so, many do we need? Uh, I, uh, let's put it this way. Katrina, we had 40,000. Okay. And National also for Guard, Katrina, 20,000 federal troops. Right. And 20 ships and the headquarters of the 82nd Airborne Division and the Comfort and 240 uh, somewhat helicopters. So they've got to scale up quickly to use a business term. And right now, they're trying to do it in the middle of uh, this rain bands that are coming in, which prohibit the helicopters from out the region from getting in as uh, easy as it should. But this is going to be a complex issue, fuel distribution. They're going to need active Army support or some big contractors to come in because people are going to need fuel. All those uh, small gas stations are now contaminated. It's going to be a real mess yeah, on and, our hands. And Phil Flynn told us earlier, General, that the, the process of getting these refineries and plants back online is very dangerous as well. So that's something that when we get to that point that we're going to have to watch as well. General Russell Honore, thank you so much for your time one, this one, morning. Go if, ahead. If you, more, if you got one more point, yeah. we, we're going to have to look at continuing to build our big plant in Wetland. That Chenier plant is at three feet elevation. They're expecting six-foot surges in there. Mm. So, so some, the math don't work. These guys know how to build plants and sell all that energy, but they've got to get their math right when it comes to uh, elevation and, and tidal surge. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good day.